Hi guys, so today I want to show you guys how to make a very basic newborn um, ear flap hat. Now this is um, adapted from some different patterns I've seen online and they're very basic. Every time you're going to make a cap, it doesn't matter if it's just a basic cap or it's just, you know, um, single crocheted all the way around and it makes a little cap and then you want to decorate with different things. Everybody pretty much does it the same way. but. Warning, if you go online to find patterns, most of the time something's not quite right. So I have my own patterns. I have things where I adapt, like I found something online and then I'm like, okay, that wasn't right, so let's do this, you know? So I always have notes and things like that. So what I'm gonna show you is a super basic hat. It's gonna have the little ear flaps. You don't have to put the ear flaps on. We can talk about that when we get there. But um, for now, we're just gonna make a very basic newborn hat, okay? And if you want it larger, you're just gonna have to add more, um, you know, more, um, stitches or make them longer okay so there's a couple different things so i'm gonna use this vanna's choice baby yarn in um i guess this is yellow i don't know what she, ducky she calls it in that cute okay so it's just a medium weight yarn okay so any medium weight yarn the baby one this one has like a little bit of like a soft brushing feel to it so i'm using that and i'm going to use a size h um hook okay so five millimeter hook. Okay, so let's get started another thing is if you have a question I'll try to answer. I'm going to be honest. I cannot, uh, if someone asks something about, you know, stitching or crocheting that I can't answer in words because it's almost impossible to answer in words. I would encourage you to look online, Google whatever that question is, if it's how to make a certain stitch, you know, how to single crochet, how to double crochet, whatever it is, and you'll find lots of videos and um, written tutorials, okay? So we're going to start with um, basically what they call a magic ring, but I do it my way, okay? So this isn't the magic ring. If you look at magic ring, it might be different. So I'm going to hold the end of the of the uh, yarn in my hand, and then I'm going to take my two fingers here, I'm going to wrap it around in front of that. You see that? So this is back here. My yarn's in front, okay? So it makes like a little lasso, okay? As I turn over, so there's the end, but the front working part is coming out this way. I'm going to take my needle, or my tool, I'm going to put it through the loop, Okay, and I'm going to bring this guy over. Just bring it through. Okay, and that's going to start my magic loop. Now that's how I do it. If you do it differently, I know people do it differently. This is how I do it. And so now you have like this weird kind of funny pretzel-y looking shape, but then you have your little loop over here. So that's fine. I'm now I'm going to hold the excess in my finger. I always like to loop mine between my pinky and my ring finger. You know, people hold them differently. And then from there, I loop it over my... Uh, finger, <laughs> my index finger, and then I hold on to these. You don't want to, this loop to go away or this piece to go away. You're gonna hold on to it because you want it to stay there and you're gonna start anchoring this string. This string that's sticking out, the end, is gonna make it so you can tighten up your loop. So you're just gonna kinda anchor it and you're gonna actually put your stitches over that, okay? So we got our loop started and all you're gonna do is chain three. So you're gonna chain one, okay? Go through two, three, so like I said, this isn't going to be a basic tutorial. I don't know if you guys want more. There's a lot of people on YouTube that do this, so uh, I'm not worried about it. So there's chain three. The first chain is not going to count as a double crochet, okay? So this is a double crocheted hat. You're not going to count that first chain as a double crochet, okay? And you always want to pay attention to your pattern. If it says chain three and then it says counts as first double crochet, then yes, it will. But this pattern, it does not count as the first double crochet. So this is just, just to step up, okay? It's not anything else. So now we're gonna do 10 double crochets inside ring. So a double crochet, you're gonna loop your yarn, you're gonna go through the center, bring out a loop, pull, again, you're looping on the top here, pull through the first two loops, bring out another little loop, pull that one through the last two loops. That's one double crochet. And we're gonna do 10, so we're gonna do it again. And I'm sorry, I'm not going super, super slow, because like I said, I don't think this is a beginner tutorial. I'm basically just showing you guys how to make this hat. So I'm going to go around and add 10 double crochet. So that's my third one, one, two, three. And I'm going to keep holding on to this guy so it doesn't, you know, go into, go away. We want to keep it there. And you're going to get to a certain point where you might um, not even have to go over it, and that's fine. So we're just going to keep going. That's four. I'm going to do six more, and I'll so be right are. back. As you see, it looks kind of funky. It looks like it's almost a straight line with 10 double crochet. So the first one doesn't count. The chain three does not count. And you have 10 more. So two, four, six, eight, ten 10 double crochet. And I'm at the end of my um, 
that's it for the first round, okay? For the round one has 10 double crochet after you pull up the three. You are going to pull this string, and see at the end of it, if I pull it, it starts tightening up and it starts making a loop. And that's what they call a magic ring. So instead of starting off with a chain and then you have to kind of join the chain and work from there, it's just easier. So that's it. And it makes it nice and tight, as tight as you want. Later on, I'll sew this into the back and we'll do that at the end, okay? When we sew in our threads. So you can leave that one hanging down, okay? We're not gonna use that anymore. So that's it. We're not using this at all. It's just gonna hang down there. And now at the end of this ring, you're going to join your ring together to the top of the chain three. So the chain three is right here. One, two, three. Okay, you can see the difference between the chain three and the double crochet. Double crochet always has like this, um, or single cro any crochet <laughs> stitch has an area of two loops. It looks like two loops. They're gonna go into the next one. So it's basically one loop kind of around here. And it just looks different. As you can see, this is the one for the, the second guy. This is the one for the first guy. The chain looks totally different. It looks like a chain. So there's a loop, a loop, and a loop. So this is where we want to enter, into the top of the chain three. So I'm going to put this right through there. I'm not looping or anything. All I'm doing is sticking the, the crochet hook through there. And we're going to attach this just by making a loop, taking your um, yarn and bringing it around, pull it through that chain three, and pull it through the loop that was already on your hook, because there's always going to be a loop on your hook if you're crocheting, okay? So that's it, and that joined it, see? So now you have one round done, round one. Round two is very easy, it's the same thing, we're just going to do two double crochets in each double crochet. So we're going to chain three again to start at one, two, three, and that's what I call my step up. It's bringing up that high, because that's how high a, chain, a, a double crochet is, okay? So now we're going to do two double crochet in each crochet, uh, double crochet. So I'm going to loop around, because we're going to do two double crochet or a double crochet here. And like I just showed you, when you go to enter this guy, it's in this spot right here. I know it's hard to see a lot of times for new people, so I'm trying to show it to you, and if you know how to crochet, I'm sorry. But you see that loop? So there's like a, a bar and this loop right before it that has two on the top. The little hole, should I call it? I don't know which one I call it. So I'm gonna go through there, bring out a loop, bring a loop through the two, and then through two. And another one. So we're gonna do two double crochet in each double crochet that we did previously. Okay, so there's two. Now I'm gonna move on to the next guy. And it has that little opening right there. And I'm gonna go through it. So those two are there. And add two double crochet there too. So I'm gonna go around the whole uh, perimeter, putting two double crochet in each double crochet. So at the end of round two, we have 20 double crochet. So I'm at the end of making the 20, it's two in each double crochet. And I'm gonna bring this over and put it into our chain three. So that's how we're gonna meet that loop. So one, two, three, there's the top of chain three. And um, like I showed before, this is the post and the loop that goes before, well, that is um, double crochet number one, okay? So you don't wanna go into this hole because that's the double crochet one. You wanna go into the top of chain three. So it's one, two, three. You're gonna go on the top of this guy. And I already have a loop here because it's always you're always gonna have a loop on your um, hook. And you're gonna loop around and bring that through and that's how you're gonna join it just like you joined um, the round of 10. Now what I like about having a step up of three and not counting as double crochet one is that it makes it so that the the crocheting is a little bit tighter, a little smoother instead of having a big gap, okay? And we'll talk about that later or you can see more about that with other um, projects you might see. Some say to count that chain three as the first double crochet, some say not to. I'm saying not to and that's how this one is, but it kind of brings it a little closer together, okay? So now we're going to step up again. We're going to step up one, two, three, and this time this is round three, and in round three we want to have 30 stitches when we're done. So what we're going to do to get that accomplished is go ahead and we're going to put two double crochet in the top of double crochet number one. So there's one, two. And the next one we're only going to put one double crochet. So that's the pattern. Two double crochet, one double crochet. Two, one, two, one. So I did one. Then the next one I'm going to do two. One, two. And in the next guy, I'm going to put in one. So I'm gonna go all the way around the whole circle, going two, one, two, one, and at the end, I should have 30. That is the end of the third round. I do have 30 double crochet. And if you start getting confused, and it looks like at this end part, like maybe I should put one in here, or no, you're not gonna put one in there because that's not where you wanna put one, okay? So this is the last one, and if you get confused, what you should do is just go back and count, okay? So you have two, four, six, eight, you know, just go back and count, and you'll see that you have your 30. Once you have 30, you're good, okay? So it should have been a pattern of two, then one, two, then one. And again, we're gonna connect it to the top of our chain three, one, two, three, right in here. 
I know at the beginning when I first started crocheting when I was a kid actually, um, I would get confused a lot. So anyway, you're going to pull that loop through to join your round. That's join round three. Now this is round four and round four is going to end with 40 double crochet and then after that we're not going to increase any more okay? because this is for a, a newborn size hat. So it should be at the end about 13 inches in diameter which is what you want for a newborn. But um, And it has a little stretch obviously. So if you want to continue making it larger for a larger child, um, we can talk about that later, but um, you would just continue increasing like 10 in a round every time. So we start with 10, 20, 30. This round we're going to have 40. So we're going to go 1, 2, three to our first step up and this time what we're gonna do is put two double crochet in the first double crochet one two and the next two double crochets we're only gonna put one so the next one we're gonna put one double crochet in and the next one we're gonna put one double crochet in so the pattern is two one one two one one okay so there's one and then one so now again I'm gonna do two double crochet one two and the next oop, two double crochet, I'm only going to put one. One double crochet, and then again one. So then the next one again is going to take all, take two. Okay, so you're going to do two, one, one, two, one, one, all around. You're going to have 40 at the end, end of, of my row. row four, or round four. And just want to show you, I have one more crochet to put in. I know it looks like a huge gap, but that's it. Okay, so this is just the one more to put in right here. And the next thing is where we connected the chain three. So you don't want to work into this. If you work into this guy after working, let's, well, let's do the last one. So here's my last one. This is number 40. And if you're not careful and you decide that you're going to work into this, you're going to end up getting a hat that's a lot bigger because it's going to be growing, growing, growing all the time because you're working an extra stitch and that we don't need that. Okay. That hole right there is not what we're going for. So now connect it to the top of chain three. Where's your chain three? And of course I'm going to push it through pull up a loop that we're just going to pull through all the loops. Okay, so this is row four completed. You have 40 double crochet. Now the next um, five rows, which is rows five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I should say round, I'm sorry, round, because a row would be flat work. Okay, this is obviously connected, so it's circular. So the next uh, five rounds, we are going to just chain through, chain three, and then double crochet in each one. So we're going to keep the 40. We're not going to increase any more. You're just going to continue working. So I'm going to pull this guy up. And the next and then first double crochet. Two, three, four, and just keep working around until you're at the end of the round and you're still going to have 40. We're not increasing. We're not doing anything. We're only putting one double crochet in each double crochet from the previous round. Okay. So when I come to the end, that'll be the end of the round end of five. Round um, five, and I'm just going to attach it to the beginning of round five, of course. And since this is the fifth round, you're just going to well, you're basically going to repeat for round six, seven, eight, and nine. So for the next four rounds, you're going to do the exact same thing. So let's connect it. Let's bring this guy through. Sometimes it's a little bit tighter than not like this time. Hmm. There we go. Gonna bring it through. Okay, and it starts making like a bowl shape as you can see because that's basically your hat. So now that you're not increasing anymore, it's gonna start looking even more cylindrical because it's just gonna keep growing instead of growing out. So that was round five. We have our 40 stitches. All we did was double crochet in each one around. So round six, seven, eight, and nine are gonna be exactly the same. We're gonna chain three, two, three, and we are going to double crochet in each double crochet around. So six, seven, eight, and nine, all you're doing is making the hat longer. We're not adding any more stitches, just double crochet in each double crochet all around and join it and continue working until you have nine rounds, okay? Not nine more rounds, but nine rounds all together. So that was round five. This is round six. Seven, eight, and nine are going to be exactly the same, just double crochet all around. This is the end of round nine, and if you flatten the hat out, you'll see that it's just a basic little cap and if you just wanted to do this you can do that and then just single crochet around the whole end or just um you don't have to single crochet you can just kind of what's that word called oh there's another type of slip stitch all the way around and that makes a nice little hat and then you can embellish it with whatever you want but we're going to con continue on to make the ear flaps and that is a little more challenging but not very much okay so i just want to show you how i'm going to put it together again that was the end of round nine still 40 stitches we're going to connect it again top of chain three and these hats, I mean, they don't take any yarn, really. You can make a couple hats with the one ball of that yarn there. So anyhow, um, I'm kind of thinking about how to continue here. So what we're going to do is start the ear flap. So we're not going to cut this off yet. If you wanted to finish your hat here and that was all you're going to do, then you would finish it off and weave in the end. But we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is um, just chain one. 
We're only chaining one because we're going to start single crocheting and that's all you need to do is just step up one. So we're going to single crochet in each of the ten next ten double crochets. Okay, so let me get a little bit closer. Maybe you can see a little bit better. And so um, here's my first double crochet. We're going to single crochet in there. So we're going to not take a loop or anything like that. You're just going to push it through, pick up your yarn, and pull up a loop through the two. That's a single crochet. So we have one, two, three, four, five. I wish I could do this faster for you guys because <laughs> this part's kind of so six, seven. You're not trying to make it real tight or anything. You're just going to make your ten single crochet. And now that I'm talking, I think I forgot, but I think this is ten, so let's check. Um, I always go backwards because I can just count by the loops. So this loop here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, and then here's our uh, single crochet, our chain one that stepped up. Okay, so now we have ten. So what we're going to do is chain one, and we're going to turn our work. You're going to turn it. So before we're working in circles and rounds, this time we're going to work in rows, okay? So this is row two. I chained one and I turned it over. So we're going to single crochet decrease over the next two. So to decrease this, because we're going to start making the flap, you want to start making less and less um, stitches. To single crochet, what I do, this is how I do it. Hopefully that's how everyone does it. I'm going to go through this, um, the first single crochet that we have here. We already chained one. This is the first single crochet. I'm going to pull up a loop and I'm not going to pull anything through yet. I'm going to go into the next single crochet because we're going to decrease it. So I'm going to go into that next hole which is single crochet number two and pull up a loop and now I'm going to pull up a loop here and pull it through all the three loops that are on my hook. Okay and then from there we're simply going to go ahead and just single crochet into the next six stitches. So six single crochet. So here's one and go to the next one, two, next one, three, then four, five, six, and then we're going to single crochet decrease the last two, which are going to be nine and ten, but now they're just the last two, okay? So at the end of this round, we're only going to have eight single crochet left because we had ten, but we decreased two of them, okay? We took two away, so I'm going to go into that next one, bring out the loop, go into the next one, bring up a loop, and pull it through all three. And now we removed two single crochet from that row. So to continue on, we're gonna chain one. This is row three. I'm gonna turn it over, and we're gonna single crochet across all eight. So just kind of give it a nice f shape, okay? So sorry about that. So we're just gonna single crochet all the way across. So there's one in that first single crochet, two, three. I'm gonna continue across to all eight. End of row three and I just want to show you because we decreased, it looks really long, okay, that loop, but that's still just one one single crochet from the bottom, right, from our decrease. So I'm just going through that one. It still has the two loops here, the two sides. Pull up your yarn and there it's your last single crochet. So now I did eight, right, just to make it kind of a nice shape. Next row, which is row four, we're going to decrease again. So on all the even rows is when you decrease. So on row four, I'm going to chain one. I'm going to turn it and again single crochet decrease the first two. So I'm going to put it through, pick up a loop, put it through the next one, pick up a loop, and then pull it through all three loops. So now we just decreased one of those two. There's only one crochet left when there were two at the beginning, right? And now we're going to single crochet into the next four. One, two, three, four, and we're going to single crochet decrease the last two. So I'm going to go in, pull up a loop, go into the next single crochet, pull up a loop, and pull it through all three loops. So now we just decreased another one. So on this, all we're going to have left are, I believe, six. So this is row five. We're going to chain, or pick up our chain, chain one, turn your work over, and we're just going to single crochet all the way across, just like we did on row um, three. So on the odd rows, we're going to just single crochet all the way across. So this is row five. We're going to single crochet six across, okay? That's what's left. So I'm going to go in, bring up my single crochet, one, two, and do six across. Okay, that was the end of row five. I have my six single crochet all the way across. Row six, we're going to chain one, turn the hat over, um, and then we're going to single crochet again, decrease over the next two stitches, or the next two single crochet. So I'm going to go in, pick up my loop, go into the next one, 
pick up my loop for my single crochet decrease and then this one all we're going to do is single crochet in the next two because that's all that's left in the middle there's two in the middle here and the last two we're going to single crochet decrease so i'm going to go in pull it up go into the next guy oh, pull up a loop and pull through all three so now all that we have left are four stitches up here so on the next row which is row seven we're just going to single crochet across so i'm going to chain one turn over my work single crochet across these four and i'll just do it because it's easy there's only four. One, two, three, four single crochet. Okay, and that was the end of row seven. And row eight, we're gonna chain one and turn it over. And we're gonna do two of the decreases because there's only four left. So to do two decreases, on the first one, we're gonna do single crochet decrease. So we're gonna go in, pull up the loop, go in, pull up the next loop, and then pull it through all three loops. And then the last two, we're gonna single crochet decrease together. So pull up one loop, Go to the next one, pull up that loop, pull it through all three loops, and now you only have two um, chains left, or two, um, sorry, single crochets left, because we decreased those four to two. So now row nine, we're going to chain one, we're going to turn over our work, and we're going to single crochet decrease over the last two. So it's going to leave one um, single crochet left. So we're going to single crochet decrease, pick it up, go through the next one, pick it up, and now pull through all three loops. Oh, <laughs> pull through all three loops and that's it. So this is the very end of it. That was one flap, we have to make two, of course. So the second one's gonna be done a little bit differently. So what I'm gonna do is pull my string through a little bit like this. I'm gonna cut it and um, fasten that off. So let me look at my right here. So anyway, we're right here. I'm just gonna cut this off with a little bit of, a couple inches of thread left. And all I'm gonna do is just pull it and that's it. That's how I fasten off of you. People do it different. Everybody has a different way, so just do what you're comfortable with, but that's it. So I'm gonna back up just a second so you can kind of see the flap on that. So this is one of the flaps we just finished. So we're gonna make another side, another flap. It looks kind of funny right now. Believe me, it'll look, be cute. So on the other side of the hat, we gotta make the second flap, but we have to add it because you can't just get there um, anyway. Usually sometimes, yeah, so. Sometimes what you can do is single crochet up the side, come around, and then be there, but it's not gonna look good. So what I'm gonna do is, you see this is the top of the hat, and this is one flap, right? So to me, this is the back of the hat, and the way I always remember that is because the stitch from the beginning when you were joining the rounds, I want that towards the back. If you do it this way, it'll be on the side of the hat, um, in the front, and it'll be more noticeable. Of course, if you wanna decorate over that, then maybe people wouldn't see it, but I like to keep that towards the back. So this is how I, get to my hat. So let's say this is towards the back. This is the ear flap here. Uh, I'm going to rotate my hat upside down. Okay. So the ear flap's sticking up here. And I'm going to count over this way um, as many stitches as I need to start the second flap. Okay. So for me, I like to move over 17 stitches. So if you look at this, this is the ladder when this is kind of where it started. So this is counting posts. Okay, I'm gonna count the posts. This is the 40th double crochet at the end before we joined it to the chain three. So I'm gonna count 17 posts over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 posts. And that's where I like to start. That's how I do mine. So I'm going to attach my yarn to the, this is the 17th post, but this is the double crochet right before that one. That's where I'm going to attach my yarn. So as you see, I put my hook through and I'm going to just grab my yarn. Oh, I have it over here for some reason. Let me move it back over here. I'm going to bring in some yarn and I'm just going to make a makeshift loop because all you have to do is just pull it through. You got to make a little loop so you can pull it through there so you can start. So I'm going to attach it here. And where I attached it, all I did was bring it through is now this is me, I like to keep both of them together at the beginning so that way it's already anchoring the yarn. If you don't wanna do that and you wanna sew in your yarn a different way, then just bring the one, your working thread, not the end, the working thread and bring it through, okay? But I like to bring both of them through just so that um, it's already kinda of holding it into the rest of the design. So there it is, that's a chain one, okay? So I already did my chain one to step up to start my single crochets. So now all I'm gonna hold is the working thread, let that end of the thread go. And we're gonna do 10 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five. Sorry guys, this is boring, but some people like to see everything. Six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10. Now, this is how I do my ear flaps. Some people would only count over as many stitches as you want in the back, and then they'd attach it on the inside and keep going, but for me, I want it to look the same as the other side. I'm super like anal, I don't like, because you can't tell the difference sometimes on one side or the other. When you just start working on this, I, I like it to look the same. So I want to start the same way the other one started, working to the left and then going back and forth, back and forth, like you normally would on crochet. So there's my 10 single crochet, and we're gonna do the exact same thing, guys, that we did for ear flap one. So now that we have our 10 base single crochet, that's row one, basically, of that flap. Row two, again, if you guys remember, on the even rows, we are going to decrease. So I'm gonna chain one. I'm gonna turn my work over. And we're gonna single crochet decrease the first two. So I'm pulling up those loops, pull it through all three. And now I'm gonna single crochet eight. Was it eight? Sorry, single crochet over the next six. So that was one, two, three, this is exactly the same. If you just want to rewind to when I showed you the ear flap one, I would do that because I'm not gonna explain it too much. It's all, it's the same. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? And now we have the last two single crochets. We're gonna do single crochet decrease. So I'm gonna pull it up, pull it up from our beginning single crochet, pull it through all three loops. And now row three, I'm gonna chain one, turn it over, single crochet across eight, okay? This is exactly the same, and I'm just gonna say right now, go ahead and just rewind to um, ear flap one and do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and single crochet over the, these eight, which is row three, and continue going. Single crocheting and then, you know, um, reducing one on each end of the even rows, and we'll be back okay, when I'm at the end. Done. So that was the end of that one exactly the same as the first flap. I just wanted to show you how you're gonna get there and then just continue doing the same thing. So now if you were to fold it in half, you can kind of have an idea of what the hat's gonna look like. This is the back with that line there. And then the little ear flaps kind of rest a little bit further back in the hat, okay? They're not roll up close up front or anything. So this is the front of the hat. And then you have your ear flaps here. So what I'm gonna do, this is up to you. If you want to keep this looking the same, um, same colors, you wouldn't finish it off, okay? You're, you just finished that ear flap two, and then what you would do is just single crochet around the whole hat, okay? Or crap stitch, which I do not do. So what you would do is just kind of come in here and, and just evenly single crochet around the whole hat, okay? I'm not gonna do that with this color, I'm gonna switch off to another color. So you wouldn't have to finish it off. If you wanna keep it yellow or whatever color your hat is, just keep going a single crochet. But I want to um, change out the color. So what I'm gonna do is finish this off. So I'm gonna pull it through, cut that little bit off. Okay, sorry, remove that yellow. And I'm gonna come in with some pink. I've been kinda of debating what I wanna do, I don't know.